I have the sample data set that has sales reps and their manager information in a parent-child format. I have sales rep number, name, manager number, and manager name. I want to deserialize this data into a level-based format. I can do this using the value hierarchy converter package. There are two ways to do this. One is using the plugin uh, within your DB project, and two, uh, using a Python script within your data flows. Let's look at the plugin option first. To use the plugin, I'll go to DV and upload the value converter plugin first. Once the plugin is uploaded, I go and upload my sales trip data set. I will change the sales trip number and the manager number to attributes and add this data set. Let me create a project on this data set. I will add the value hierarchy converter plugin to my canvas. And I will add the manager number and name to the parent fields and the sales rep number and name to the child fields. Now the plugin has converted the parent-child data into a level-based format. Your input data set could have any number of levels and the plugin will flatten it out. You have the option of downloading this data locally and then can use it for further analysis. It downloads the data in a CSV format. The second option to deserialize parent-child data is to use a Python script within a data flow. To do this, let me first upload the script. The script takes in four parameters, child ID, name, parent ID, and name. Output of the script includes 10 levels with ID and name for each level. So your data set could have a hierarchy with up to 10 levels and the script will flatten it out. If you have more than 10 levels in your input data set, it will lead to some data truncation in the output. So next, we'll create a data flow. We'll add our sales rep data set. Next, we'll add a custom script and include our parent-child script. We can change the output parameter names if you want. In the input parameters, the child ID and parent ID are mandatory. Child name and parent name are optional parameters. If you don't provide the names, then the ID values are populated in the names as well. In my data set, I have the name and the ID, so let me map all of them. We'll then go and save this data set. Sales rep flattened and save and run the data flow. Let's go and look at the data sets. So this is the data set that was created by the data flow. Okay, so the data set has been flattened. Um, there are 10 levels. Now, if your input data set does not have 10 levels of data, then um, the levels which don't have data will be empty. My data set has four levels, so I have L1 to L4 names populated. Thanks for watching this video.